All right, let's hear it. The first reason is that the Bible contradicts itself. Let's go through these, starting from the top. In Mark 16, it says they left the tomb and they said nothing to anyone. In Matthew 28, it says they left the tomb and ran to bring his disciples' word. The broader context and narrative of the book of Mark shows why this is not a contradiction. Throughout the book of Mark, you'll find a common thread of Jesus telling witnesses to stay silent. But the silence never sticks. For example, in Mark 1, it is requested that they say nothing but go and show themselves to the priest. But then the silence does not stick. Or plausibly, it's in the same way as Mark 16. It does not say they never said anything. Putting it together, they said nothing until they got to the disciples. Not a contradiction. Going on to John 1, it says no one has seen God. And in Genesis 32, it says Jacob has seen God face to face. First of all, face to face does not have to be understood literally. For example, in Numbers 12, it says, I, the Lord, reveal myself to them in visions. I speak to them in dreams. Yet he says, with him, I speak face to face. You can see this type of figure of speech in Exodus 33. The same way I can see someone eye to eye without literally looking them in the eyes. Secondly, the New Testament picture of Jesus informs us. In Philippians 2, Jesus existed in the form of God and became the likeness of men. Jesus revealed the Father. That's why we can see him. A similar thing in Numbers 12 when it says he sees the form of the Lord. Thus, we can also plausibly understand Genesis 32 to be a theophany. That is God, not in his full glory. Not a contradiction. Moving on to Matthew 19, it says, With God, all things are possible. And in Judges 1, it says, The Lord could not drive out the inhabitants of the valley. It ignores the context of Judges 1 and 2. In Judges 2, it is explained that the Lord was very angry with Israel and therefore said he will no longer drive them out. That section of Judges parallels the beginning. Scholars note that the first section narrates from the point of view of the Israelites, which is what you quoted. The second section narrates from the point of view of God, which is what I quoted. Context shows that God was not defeated. He was just angry at their idolatry. No contradiction. We have good reason to believe in the Bible because we have good reason to believe that Christ rose from the dead. Investigate that first. Go to more reasons as to why they are not a Christian. Let me know if I should refute that as well. Keep tagging me and thanks for the support. God bless.